Coach Peters, I'll tell you what, you need about 13 hats to wear this weekend. You're recruiting, you're coaching, you're pro coaching, you're high school coaching, you're a college coach. You are a coach at literally every level. Are you going to be here tomorrow for the youth tournament coaching too? Probably not. Probably, Probably not. not? Yeah. Flow Nationals. You guys have always brought brought a strong presence. You've always believed in the event. I think you uh, you're always on the, the the front end of things. That's, that's what I like to say. But how good is this event for Pittsburgh Wrestling Club? It's been great for us. You know, it's close. It gives us the opportunity to bring a lot of kids, and um, it's been a great event. So we're, we're happy to be here. How good are the rules for uh, you know as far as you recruiting? You know, there's all these different hats you got to wear as far as you know recruiter coach because you're a coach here too right but uh you know how good are the rules for you to see the abilities of a kid transition into college i like the rules you know i like to see the guys be able to wrestle on the mat you know and uh wrestle on the edge and actually extend the match a little bit you know you got plenty of uh apron on the, on the edge so they can wrestle and it's good to see so you know, i like it i think everybody on your coaching staff was literally here whether they were coaching high school kids in the pittsburgh wrestling club whether they were doing recruiting or they were actually wrestling in a pro event. What's that pro event been like? And how do you feel about, you know, Matt coming out and wrestling Ed Ruth? I thought it was great. You know, we got an opportunity, you know, we got a call, had the opportunity to wrestle Ed Ruth. And anytime you get a chance to wrestle Ed Ruth and display what you can do, I think Matt wanted to take a chance and see what he could do. And uh, I think we found out Ed's really good. And, you know, he did a good job and took Matt out of his game and, and beat him. So, but it was overall, it was good for Pitt and good for Pitt wrestling. And, you know, we came here under Pittsburgh Wrestling Club. We're all under that umbrella, and, you know, we're coaching kids and trying to develop the area in Pittsburgh, and, you know, this event gives us the opportunity to get out and compete, so it's been good. I'd like to go 0-60 to 60 with questions. Can Pitt win the national title in wrestling? Uh, you know, I think you got to get the right people. You know, you got to get the right people and get the right kids, and, you know, you, you need a little luck. You know, you got to have, have things go your way at the nationals. This year we had four guys in the round of 12. We punched one, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, do, is that the goal? Of course that's the goal. I think every coach that's in Division One wrestling would love to have a chance to win the national. So, you know, we're working at it. We're trying to get the best kids we can get. You know, we're developing our own, and we're also recruiting some. So it's, uh, it's, a, good, it's a good situation up here right now. You and I, got, we talk a lot, you know, and, and the ACC transformation, you know, the transition from EWO to ACC. How has that been for you? How do you feel? It's been good. You know, it's always tough scheduling them. You know, it's a little bit farther travel, but um, overall it's good. You know, we just got to build these rivalries. And, you know, I think we've done that pretty early, you know, as far as with Virginia and Virginia Tech. And, uh, you know, we'll just keep doing it. You know, I know UNC and Duke, and they're all getting better. You know, uh, NC State, at every school in the ACC had an All-American this year, and they all finished in the top 30. So that's pretty good for uh, ACC wrestling, and we're excited to be a part of it. I look at, you know, the, the constant progress and, and, you know, the transition was smooth between you and Randy. But, you know, four guys in the round of 12. And one of them being in the round of 12, two years in a row and losing. Looking at that with Thomas Hite, what do you say to a guy like Thomas Hite to get him up to the next level? You know, I think you just got to keep believing in yourself, and he's got to keep believing in himself and working on the things that he needs to do to, to be good and be great and separate himself from the competition. So, I mean, you got to you got to have a short-term memory if you want to be great in wrestling, and that's what he is, and we're already working forward for next year. So, you know, we're, uh, we're happy where we are. Could we see two Wilps on your staff in two years? Uh, you never know. Probably not. You know, Tyler Wilps, he's a pre-med and business guy, so he's probably not going to coach wrestling. <laughs> he's really pre-med? Yeah, pre-med and business, so he's uh, he's a freak. You know, he studies, he grinds it out, he gets people tired, and he's a great human being. We're excited to have him. Wow, seventh in the country. He was a champ here. Yeah, he won the Flow never National Champ. The, never yeah. won the state, though. Yeah, Flow National Champ, though. Never won the state, Flow National Champ. When you get guys like that, I look at the development. Neither Wolves won state, right? No, neither one. When you get guys like that and you develop them, Whip Hill guys, and you develop them, what's that mean to you and your program? You know, it's exciting. Um, I think that Randy Stoudemire's first All-American when he was a coach was a local WPIL guy. And I was fortunate this year, our first All-American as the head coach was a WPIL guy. So that's exciting. Anytime we can get the local guys to stay home, Home and win championships at home. That's what we're trying to do. How good guy, can guys like Edgar Wright be? How good, you know, can guys like that true freshman comes in? I think he's an impact guy right away. How good can he be? I think Edgar Wright can be great. You know, I think we found it out today, this year, during at times. You know, we saw greatness, and then at times we saw a freshman. You know, we need to put a lot of time in in this summer and see a lot of greatness. I think that's the goal and Edgar wants to be good so he, he, we're going to get a lot out of him and he'll be a good wrestler for Pitt.
The whole purpose of you even being here is actually, first thing is to coach the Pittsburgh Wrestling Club. How hand in hand and how good has that been for the culture of pit wrestling? Uh, the Pittsburgh Wrestling Club has been great. It gives us an opportunity to watch our kids and see them develop over a period of time. And, you know, some of them have been, like you said, Tyler Wilps, who are just not state champions and then come out here and win Flow Nationals and now be an All-American and have a shot at a national title next year. So the club has been great for us and we'll keep doing it. It's a lot of work. It's great to get to know the kids and work with them and some of the coaches that are looking for athletes, we try to help them find places to go you know not all of them are going to come to pit you know even the great ones you know it's our job to give them the community and help them the best we can and that's what we're doing you got a guy coming up you got anything else for me uh, i think that's it you know uh hail the pit h t h2p h2p it is